Hi friends, in this video, let's uh, talk about how to build Power BI dashboards. This is one of the important concept in all the visualization tools. In every visualization tool, people used to prepare the dashboards. What is a dashboard? So dashboard is the one which will help the business user to see the high level information. Let us say when you are thinking about a sales related information. So by looking at the dashboard, you can easily identify the sales amount on the quarter wise, the sales amount on the year wise, the sales amount on the product wise, sales amount on the manager wise, sales amount on the branch wise. All the high level information you can see in one shot. By looking at the dashboard, you can really think of so where exactly the business is uh, going well with the profits and where exactly the business is uh, moving a little slowly with loss. You can easily identify that how to improve and all. So we can take a, a kind of businessizations by looking at the dashboards. So if you want to go for a detailed information, yes, we will be having a detailed reports with all these manager wise, branch wise, location wise and um, a product wise as well. So here I'll show you so one dashboard so which will show the sales and the cost related information so based on the year based on the uh, based on the product based on the category and all so let me go to my power bi window where i'll be doing this kind of dashboard design and development so here i'll be using power bi desktop so everybody knows that so let me load a sample data to generate a dashboard so here I'll be using uh, the SQL server. So let me click on get data. Let me click on SQL server. <clears throat> so once I click on SQL server, it asks for the uh, server name. So my server name is dot slash SQL 2012. So and my database name is optional here, but in the next step, I need to select compulsory. So let me click on OK. So once I click on OK, here you can see the list of available databases in the server. You can see this. So out of this, you need to select the so required database. So here I am planning to select the AdventureWorks Data Warehouse 2012. So why? Because this is having this is a predefined database provided by Microsoft for our examples. So it's having a couple of uh, records in both the, all the tables so that I can use those tables for all my scenarios. So here, let me select the one date dimension and uh, some product dimensions. So if you see here, I have selected date dimension and a couple of product dimensions, dim product, dim product category, dim product subcategory and uh, one fact table. So if you see here, totally I have selected dim date. So uh, dim product, dim category, dim product category, dim product subcategory and fact internet sales total of four dimension tables and one fact table. So for my examples. So once I am done with the table selection, so obviously yes, in the right side, you can see the preview of the data. So if you want to go with the same data, you can click on load. So or if you want to change anything in the data side or in the column name side, you can click on edit. So but for time being, I am going with the load. So I'm okay with the column names and the data. Let me click on load. <coughs> so once I click on load, so based on the size of the data, it takes a while to load. You can see this. <clears throat> so let's wait for a while till it load completes. Yes, so it is done now. So you can see the uh, fields and uh, tables information in the field section. If you see this, this is the one. So once you expand this, you will get the list of columns inside the uh, each and every dimension and uh, fact table. So now, so let me concentrate on the dashboard design now. So here, if you see, this is a place where we'll uh, design a dashboard. Okay, so now let me design a dashboard. First, let me take a slicer. So this is a slicer. So let me select dim product category for, uh, to fill the slicer. So let me select the English product uh, category name. So it is getting loaded, wait, yeah. So if you see this, this is a slicer. So let me increase the size to see that. So let's expand the items and let's increase the text size to some. Uh, yeah, if you see this, that's fine. So and uh, let me remove header. 
just to save the space and here so this is how now let me uh, change some properties yeah, if you see that this is the data i have so let me change that to kind of drop down or some yeah so this is segoya is fine and uh, so let me click on this and yeah that's all everything is fine single selection and if you want to go for single multiple selection you can select that and if you see the general there are uh, some properties you can change if you want or i am going to leave with it okay so now if you see this so these are all the uh, properties export data show data and sort by english uh, product category name I, i'm okay with that let's uh, keep that so let's decrease the size so this is what uh, now my slicer okay so now let me take uh, some graphs here so let's take this let me keep here let me increase this yeah so let me show here as a, uh, a date wise uh, sales amount let me select the date here calendar year not the value here first let me select the sales amount then i'll go for it now here i can put or here i can put wherever i want so let me select the sales amount on the year wise first section i want to see that so first let me select the sales amount from the fact table and um, a date uh, quarter or date whatever it is see here i can select this way or let me select the calendar year and one thing is let me take this into the axis yeah so if you see now so this is how my <clears throat> report is going to look like this as of now so i am in the middle of the dashboard <clears throat> so if you see this i can see the year wise uh, uh, sales amount if you see this so let me this is what uh, year wise sales information you can see that 2005 2006 7 and 8 so i have a data for four years so that is the reason why i'm able to see the four years data so now let me go to some other uh, controls so let me take uh, some more uh, like this we yeah, have take this here i want to take the data from the sales amount and the first product wise let me select the dim product and let's select the english product name from the dim product <clears throat> and let me select here two fields from the fact so one is from the one is a sales amount so the other one is a total product cost <clears throat> so if you see now let me minimize this so this is how it looks like now so i have multiple products in my table that's the reason why so i need to do the scrolling actually if you see this we need to do the scrolling so now if you see the total product cost is coming in the black color and the sales uh, amount is coming in some uh, green color so let me change the total product cost to line actually so let's go to the select that let's go to the visualization let me select this uh, chart okay now let's select the total product cost to the line values so that you can see line so if you want to change the line see the line which is coming here if you see this so this is the line which is coming here so this line is coming here uh, this line it comes under a total product cost if you want to change the color of the line then go here and uh, expand this uh, data colors so expand the data colors so just change the total product cost to some red color or some color or whatever the color you want so now if you see this it automatically changes you see this the color has been changed okay so now so once it is done now let me go for a um, uh, some pie chart here so pie chart so let me display some information on this uh, dim product uh, category wise so dim product category wise sales amount yeah sales amount 
So if you see this, now let me minimize this as well. Yeah, if you see this, this report contains how many sections? So here, uh, slicer. So this is one chart, this is one chart, and this totally four blocks I have. Now, so let me select accessories here. So is that is reflecting? Yes, you can see that. So once I select a bike here, so it is reflected a change in this chart, reflected a change in this chart, reflected a change in this chart. So let me change it to clothing. So by default, if you remember it, I have selected a single selection in the slicer. So that is the reason why. So I am able to select only single. I cannot select multiple. So when I go for others, other um, a product selection, it automatically unselect the other previous one and it selects the next one. So let me select the components. So if you see this, there is no sales from the component side. That's the reason why I don't have any uh, uh, charts here, here and here. So let me go for uh, bikes back. So you can see that charts back. So let me remove this. It automatically says that selection all. So this is how I design a, a dashboard. So otherwise, let, if you wanted to add something more, let me minimize this size. So you can add uh, some more. Let me minimize this as well so that I can include one more uh, control. So and I can see the sales amount by some other category as well. So let me go to visualization. Let me take this. So here I'm going to select as product from the subcategory, English product from subcategory and uh, from the sales amount from the fact table. Yeah, if you see now, yeah. So if you see now, let me minimize this as well. Yeah, so if you see now by looking at this itself, so you can simply say, there are many views we have. So this is the sales amount by calendar year. So this is a sales amount by English product name. So this is a, a sales amount by English product category name. This is a sales amount by English product subcategory name. So by looking at the uh, dashboard itself, you can uh, decide like a, which is um, product is uh, going uh, well and which product is going little slowly or something like that. So this is how we generate a dashboards in the Power BI. So you can add many controls, how many controls you want in the dashboard. So, but at the end, so the look and feel should be good as it is a visualization tool. So the look and feel obviously will be a good and you can change the colors as well. As I told you how to change the colors on the uh, uh, line chart here. So you can change similarly for all other uh, bars as well. So this is a very basic uh, dashboard in the Power BI. So yes, there are some complex dashboards in the real time we used to work. So this is a very basic dashboard. So thank you for watching. So hope you understand my a point here on uh, developing a dashboard. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more uh, technology up to date videos. That's it.